Hey guys, this is Mike with Budget Tech Reviews, and today is the second part video of my review on the Nokia Lumia 521 from T-Mobile. Uh, the first thing I want to do in this video, guys, is show you guys a speed test, actually. And let me get to that really quick. There you go. I'm running it off their 4G network, so this does have the speed test app, and let's take a look here. Alright, right now it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, so I'm not too sure how good the test is going to be, but let's take a look. There you go, as you can see, uh, download was 5.65 megabits per second, and upload is about close to 2. Usually download and upload speeds vary depending on location, but <clears throat> as you can see there, not too bad. Let's do it one more time just so I can get another score there. And as said before, this phone runs off their HSPA Plus network. And in my area, I usually get between... 7 and 12 megabits per second uh, and on this phone you know it's, it's decent it usually gets around 6 so not too bad of a uh, speed at all I mean it's a 4G phone not an LTE device but it's still a 4G phone and it still works pretty good not too sure why the upload on this is uh, on, this, on the second turn here it's not doing too great so I guess that's it for that one, but yeah. Okay, let's go back. And uh, things I forgot to mention in this uh, first video, I want to talk a little bit about the keyboard, I guess. And let's take a look here. And I'll show you an example of the keyboard by uh, using the Office. Or, you know, we'll use OneNote. How about that? I haven't even used OneNote. Welcome to OneNote go alright let's add a note so as you can see here the keyboard is a QWERTY keyboard on on screen keyboard and it's got pretty much basic functions like numbers symbols all that it's got a little smiley face kind of emoticon that's going on there as you can see there you can switch and you can change different things of course about that but one thing about this phone is you cannot really change the keyboard. Uh, like Android and iOS devices, uh, you're able to swap out keyboards. And, but one thing I, uh, good about this keyboard is it's not really bad at all. I mean, once you get used to it, it typing is easy. Saying like, hey, what's up? And autocorrect on it is actually really good. So, And they, it does have a voice as well. This is, you see, look, and um, it's kind of hard to take a video and type, but, but me getting a review on the, and yeah, it takes some time, but it's actually real fluid. There's little, there's very, there's little to no lag at all on the keyboard, and the same thing goes for text messaging and, and so forth, so. And I'll just, and it's going to save, I guess it's just a quick note. Uh, like a little memo pad. <clears throat> uh, but going on, uh, as you can see here, I have uh, apps like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Netflix. All these apps work. If, you, if you're a Netflix enthusiast uh, and you want to get on Netflix, of course, uh, you can. Uh, but And one thing I'm going to tell you about this phone is the headphone jack. On this phone, for me, it doesn't really work work really good, to be honest. Uh, the, the headphone jack, I plugged in a few sets of headphones and uh, trying to listen to music or watch video, uh, it wasn't that it wasn't great at all actually. But as you can see here, I got Netflix going, and there's just shows that I've recently watched. <laughs> Digimon, but um, I mean it does work. So for people that are 
always watching Netflix or YouTube videos. Both apps work fine. Uh, the Facebook app, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of it just because um, it's not so much like the Android or iOS versions. I mean, I guess each uh, version is a little different. And there, as you can see, I got a text message or whatever. And let me go to that. When you get text messages, a little on-screen thing pops up up there. But, and then, as you can see here, I'm texting Vanessa. But I'm going to reply. And in the messaging app, the keyboard turns black. So that's pretty cool, I guess. And to send, you just press this button down here, the little message button. And back to... To Facebook here you can see the app is pretty fluid you can see that my fingers going up and down with it and I guess that's one thing that I do like about Windows Phone is that uh, it's very fluid in some of the apps and I'm not and the thing is though there's like so there's like different Facebook apps that I guess that p different developers make um, Facebook uh, apps on Windows Phone so there is a, diff a bunch of different, just a bunch of different apps. Same thing for YouTube. And, <clears throat> okay, hold on. Cool, all right. Well, as you can see there, I got another message. Let's just swipe that aside. On here, you can see that there's like kind of a little notification bar. Not really, it just tells you the time, battery level, and if you're connected to Wi-Fi and 4G and the signal. And okay, I wanted to get into uh, sync with this phone. If you guys aren't familiar with Windows phones, uh, and if it's your first phone, uh, you can actually set set up a Hotmail account or whatever to to um, save your contacts and uh, things to SkyDrive, etc. So let's go to accounts really quick, email accounts and whatnot. And as you can see here, I have a, uh, a Microsoft account connected and two of my Google accounts connected. And the reason why I wanted to talk about the Google accounts is because on the Google accounts, if you have had a previous Google account, like uh, with an old Android device, and you already have saved contacts on, if you had, oops, excuse me, guys, I'm sorry. If you already had saved contacts from your Google accounts, you can actually, uh, you can actually port your contacts over so that's one thing that I found really good about that because I thought I was gonna have to add all my contacts again but it turns out that you can just port them over from from your Google account which isn't hard at all and you can add different accounts to get here here are your options you can add Outlook Nokia account Yahoo accounts Facebook accounts Twitter and whatever else you got here on the list and you know it gives you more more options there but it's not too bad and one thing I wanted to talk about about this phone is, and if you can see the little button here, here's the Windows uh, Windows App Store, I guess. I, I don't even I forgot what it was called. But about this, and I'm not a huge fan of, is the lack of apps. If you go here and you go to their app section, you go to the top three. I mean, YouTube and Facebook are going to be the first ones on there, right? Uh... I'm not a huge fan. I, I don't even think I have this version downloaded of Facebook. I should probably try downloading that one. But uh, as you can see here, it's got apps like Pandora, uh, apps that are Nokia, because a lot of Windows phones are made by Nokia. So you have little different things there. SkyDrive to save uh, photos and things to your SkyDrive account. Twitter, Google, Netflix, but <clears throat> honestly, there's not a lot of popular apps that I like would usually use, like on my Nexus device. Like if you have a, if you have, uh, if you're a huge fan of Instagram, for instance, you're not going to get Instagram on a Windows Phone at all. And there is a huge, huge lack of games. By by the way, let's take a look. Let's go back and see if I can go back hold on there we go games like for games for instance you can set it up to actually link up with your uh, your Xbox Live account which I thought was pretty cool because this phone is compatible with Xbox Smart Glass and excuse the glare guys I don't know what the deal with my cameras here but 
Let me see if I can lift that a little. But let's go to their games, and we'll go to the top three. On iOS and Android, you're going to usually see Angry Birds or Temple Run or Candy Crush. Uh, first thing on the list, and as you can see here, uh, the first thing on the list here is Uno with Friends. And I, had, I never even downloaded that. So I did try Temple Run, and Temple Run... Do one does work, but they don't even have Temple Run 2 on here. If you want Angry Birds, that's actually a paid-for app. You actually have to pay for that app. But one thing I just didn't like about this is the lack of apps and applications and um, and uh, games, pretty much. I mean, if you guys are wanting to game on these phones, it's not it's just not one of those things that you can do. There's not a huge selection of of games. Eh? And let's go. Let's go back here. I'm gonna. And here's just how I have my tile set up and everything like that. This does come with a Microsoft Office, by the way. And let's and let's go to the side. But uh, I mean, it comes with Angry Birds Roost, but it just gives you like a little demo trial on it. And it and it you have to actually pay for the actual game itself. But I mean, this phone come and as you can see here, it just comes with simple functions: calculator, calendar. It's got your camera app, of course. Creative Studio, where you can probably change the pictures and stuff like that. Uh, there's free music, which I actually haven't tried. I'll have to look at that a little later. But here you're just... Uh, you have actually their version of Google Maps, I guess, which is uh, Here Maps, and it's not horrible, but it's not great either. As you can see, I downloaded Kick Messenger there. And there's not really a lot of third-party apps for messaging apps as far as that goes. Uh, a lot of Nokia software comes with this phone. Nokia Cinemagraph, Nokia Music, uh, Office OneNote, which is a Microsoft thing. You can this phone you can use Panorama with the camera. And there's your actual phone, uh, your phone button. Let me click that for you really quick because, uh, you know, I've never even made a call out with this phone. But there's the dialer. It's not too great looking. If you wanna check your voicemail, there's your voicemail button. And if you want to check your contacts, here are your contacts. And like I said, the cool thing is you can port your contacts from uh, your your Google account, which I really enjoyed. And let's go back to the apps that this comes with. We were already in the photos and phone. There's your photos, photo beamer, uh, scout, which I haven't even looked at either. And there's your settings, slacker radio, smart shoe, speed test I downloaded, the Microsoft Store, there it is, T-Mobile TV which uh, I haven't really messed with too much. Uh, Twitter, which is what I downloaded. Wallet. Uh, Wi-Fi calling, which I thought was interesting. And the Weather Channel. So, uh, not, I mean, not a huge selection of apps that come with the phone, obviously. I mean, you, like, you have to search through the, win the, the Microsoft Store. And uh, I'm not too sure about this phone, guys. I mean, I'm a little indifferent about about this uh, Microsoft, uh, Windows phone basically I mean because I mean there, there's things I like about it and then there's just things I hate and I'm usually pretty good about like liking things right off the bat but you know I mean just uh, the top you know things that I did like about this phone was that it was very fluid as said with the apps I've ne <clears throat> I didn't have a problem with apps Although I, I found that the phone did freeze on me a couple of times, especially with the Facebook app I downloaded. I don't know if it's just the app itself, uh, but I just was didn't enjoy that. And I kind of like this little thing here. It kind of shows you like a little thing of your contacts. Uh, and the pictures just change. As you can see, I have a lot of friends that are girls. So. And just little things that I didn't like. Uh, I mean, I mean fact that you can't change the even give this a a background picture or a wallpaper or anything like that the only wallpaper you get is is with the home screen so so there there it is I just have it set with Bing and lock screen is there as you can see it tells you if you have any notifications of course um let's see what else I mean you can check your minutes on your account count and stuff like that there's a I, I, I wouldn't call it a widget I guess your tile for for your account on that and you can actually and there's a me there's a me button where you can like add photos of yourself and 
And actually, I can set up a Hotmail chat. That way people can chat with you via Hotmail Messenger. But not a huge fan. I guess the only... Uh, Browser-wise, you don't have a lot of options. You pretty much just have Internet Explorer. Internet, Ex Internet Explorer works okay. I couldn't even get onto the Virgin Mobile USA website, which is kind of interesting for me. Let's see if we can go to tmobile.com. See if that even works. And I already have this video running a while, guys, so I might actually make a separate video, but just to get things I know I left out, like I want to get footage of like the camera app, get some gaming footage, stuff like that. So here's tmobile.com. Do you want to allow T-Mobile to access your location? Sure, why not? And there's T-Mobile. And this is their mobile site, I guess. Uh, oh, there you go. But as you can see, Pinch to Zoom works really good. I'm sorry that Pinch to Zoom took so long for me to get. But it's very fluid, like I said. So I guess I'm going to end this here, guys. I'm going to try getting one more video, I guess, before I decide to sell this phone. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And always please subscribe.